हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द पावर बी आई जीरो टीरो प्ले लिस्ट माय नेम इज संदीप रतूरी एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस डायनेमिक रो लेवल सिक्योरिटी विद एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल हायरिकी इन पावर बी आई इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन स्टैटिक रो लेवल सिक्योरिटी इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो यट प्लीज चेक इट आउट सो यू कैन इजिली फॉलो अलॉन्ग विद दिस वन एज आई टोल्ड यू इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो अबाउट आर RLS stands for Role Level Security. It restricts data visibility in Power BI reports based on assigned user roles. This means that user can only see their own data or data assigned to their specific role in the report. Now let's understand the company hierarchy data and see how RLS works here. As you can see in the hierarchy visual, Sandeep is a manager. Then we have three team leads who reports to Sandeep. So as you can see here, Antonio, Aria, and Dinesh reports to Sandeep. And under them we have developers and IT support employees. Here Jacob and Jack reports to Antonio. David reports to Aria, and Matt and John reports to Dinesh. So we have three levels of hierarchies: manager. team lead and developer it support our rls requirement is as follows the manager can see all levels of hierarchy data the team lead can see their own data along with the data of their direct reports for example antonio can see the data of jacobs and jack and his own data similarly other team leads can see data of their respective reporting employees along with their own data if any developers and it support employees can only see their own data because no one reports to them if you want to implement dynamic rls for the organizational hierarchy make sure you have hierarchy data with proper tagging of the parents ids for example here we have employees data and for each employees the respective reporting managers id is tagged for example employee id 2 antonio manager id is 1 and if you see here one id belongs to sandeep so means antonio reports to sandeep same for employee id 5 matt manager id is 4 and if you see here employee id 4 is dinesh means matt reports to dinesh if you don't have data in this format you will need to prepare it this way so you can implement rls on organizational hierarchy data now let me explain you tables data in detail i have two tables employee hierarchy and sales and here you can see the data for the employee hierarchy table So here I have employee ID, designation, employee name, email, and manager IDs of the employee. And second table is sales. In sales table, we have columns: employee ID, category, product, sum of sales, sum of quantity, and transaction date. And now let me show you the relationship. So here you can see I am creating relationship based on employee IDs in both tables. Now let me show you the demo. Here I have three logins. one for the manager so here you can see sandeep is manager second for the team lead so this is the team lead account so dinesh is team lead and last one is for developer so this is the developer account and developer name is david so as per the rls we implemented on organizational hierarchy data the manager can see all data let's check in the manager account So this is the manager account, and here let's open the report, and here you can see all data is visible to the manager. Now let's check for the team lead. Here you can see there is a team lead, and he can only see his direct reporting employees data along with his own data. So let's check in his account. So this is the team lead account. and let's open the report and here you can see 
he can only see his direct reporting employees data along with his own data so matt and john direct reports to dinis finally let's check for the last level that is developer and it support employees so here we will check the data for david so this is the david account let's open the report for him and here you can see david is a developer and since no one reports to him he can only see his own data now let's start a practical open the employee hierarchy table so here you can see this is the employee hierarchy table data and here you can see i have created a few extra calculate columns path path item label 2 and label 3 for rls only path column is required the other columns are just for your understanding the path and path item dash functions belongs to the parent child dash function category if you want to understand them in detail i will provide a resource link in my video description now to create a calculate column right click on the data set name and select new column and after that write this dax code now i will explain you this dax code in detail so here we used path dax function which is belongs to parent child dax function category and the path dax function is specially used to create a hierarchical path between an item and its parents and path support to argument in first argument we pass the employee id and in second argument we pass the manager id now let's understand the result of part dex function for the employee id 1 does not have any manager id so that's the reason it is going 1 for the employee id 2 manager id is 1 so here you can see it is going 1 and 2 so here 1 is manager id of 2 now let's check the same for three level of hierarchy so for the employee id 9 you can see the manager id is 2 and if you check the manager id of employee 2 so here you can see 1 so that's the reason it is showing 1 2 9 so here 9 is employee id 2 is the manager id of 9 and 1 is the manager id of 2 same if you check for the employee id 8 so manager id is 3 and for the employee id 3 manager id is 1 so here it is showing 1 3 8 8 is the employee id 3 is the manager id of 8 and 1 is the manager id of 3 now create one more another calculate column for the path item so right click on the data set name and select new column and after that write this dax code here we use path item dax function which is used to extract a specific level of the hierarchy from the path column and path item dash function support three argument in first argument we pass the path column name which is this in second argument we pass two because we want to see second level of hierarchy from the path column and in third argument we just mention the data type because we want to see hierarchy data in the form of integer so if you notice here it is returning the second level of hierarchy ids and if you notice in path dex result second level of hierarchy is this two three four same you can check here and if you want to see the third level of hierarchy so just pass three here instead of two and after that click on commit and here you can see the third level of hierarchy which is 5 6 7 8 9 same you can check in the path dex output 5 6 7 8 9 after that if you want to extract the name of the employee of any level of hierarchy so for that you can create one more calculate column and you can use this dex code so in this dex code i use lookup value and in first argument we pass the employee name because as a result I want to see employee name and based on these two column I will perform the lookup so for the id number one if you see here there is no second level of hierarchy so that's the reason it is showing blank here for the employee id two second level of hierarchy is two and if you check the name of employee id two 
so it is antonio so that's the reason it is showing antonio here same for employee id 9 if you see here second level of hierarchy is 2 and if you check the name of employee id 2 which is antonio so here you can see it is showing antonio now in last column everything is same the only change is here here i want to extract the name of third level of hierarchy employee so here instead of 2 i passed 3 and apart from that everything is same if you see here third level of hierarchy is 9 and employee id 9 name is jack so that's the reason it is showing jack here so for the rls we will consider only the path column the remaining columns were just for your understanding if you want to extract any particular hierarchy level id and name now we will create an rls rule to do that go to the modeling tab and click on manage roles the first role we will create is for the admin the admin can see all the data in the report this could be the ceo of the company or any high level person in the organization so click on new and double click on the entire and here provide the role name for the admin so you can provide any name and for the admin role we will not apply any table filters next we will create a role for all employees so click on new provide the role name user underscore role name can be anything and after that select the employee hierarchy table because we are implementing rls on the columns of this table and after that click on switch to dax editor and here we can use this dax code for the rls now i will explain you this dax code in detail so let's start from user principal name this function returns the current user's login email address when viewing the power bi report then we used filter dax function so here filter dax function filters the employee hierarchy table to only keep the row where the employee email matches the currently logged in user's email then we have max x dax function so max x is an iterator function that evaluates an expression for each row in the filter table and return the maximum value here it is getting the maximum employee id but since the filter keeps only one row matches the current user's email so it just return that user's employee id then inside of path contains function we have path column so path is typically a text column showing the entire hierarchy path of an employee and what path contains does path contains check if the given employee id exists within the path column then tell us whether a particular employee is a part of the hierarchy path for the current user so now let's understand the summary of this dax code so user principal name gets the logged in user email and we filtered the employee hierarchy table to get that user data and then max x pulls their employee id and path contains check whether that user's email id exists in the path column or not which else determine if any employee falls under the current user in the organizational hierarchy after that click on verify dex expression and then click on save and after that you can close the manage security roles window now let's quickly check the data for any team lead to do that copy the team leads email id here i am copying dinesh mail id and after that go to the manage roles open the user underscore role and here under double quote just paste the mail id of the team lead and comment the user principal name code and then click on verify dash expression and after that click on save and close the window now go to the view as and here select the user underscore role and click on ok so as you can see that Dinesh can view the data of his direct reporting employees along with his own data in the same way you can test these four 
other team leads, manager and developers. Now we will publish this report and we will test the RLS in the Power BI service. So for that click on stop viewing and after that we will fix the code. So go to the manage roles, select the user underscore role and here remove the mail ID from here and uncomment the user principal name code like this. Click on verify Dex expression and after that click on save and close the window and then go to the home tab and here click on publish after that click on save here choose the workspace and click on select so this report is already exist in power bi service so click on replace i want to replace my existing change with latest change and now you can see here report has been published successfully now go to the power bi service and here you can see the report now we will assign the RLS roles to the users. So for that, click on three dot of semantic model of the report. And after that, click on security. Here you can see the all roles. Open the user underscore role. And here we will add the users such as we will add manager, developers and team leads mail ID here. And if you have AD group created for them, so you can directly add AD group here. But in our case, we will add email IDs of the user. So first, we will add manager mail id here so manager is sandeep then we will add one team lead mail id here so team lead is dinesh next we will add one developer mail id so developer is david and after that click on add and click on save so now let's check for the sandeep so here you can see i already logged in into with sandeep mail id so now go to the workspace and here open the report and you can see Sandeep can see all employees data. So as you can see here, now let's check with the team lead mail ID. So you can see here, this is the Dinesh account and Dinesh is team lead. So now open the report for Dinesh. And as you can see that he can only see his direct reporting employees data along with his own data. In second page, you can also check the same. Matt and John is directly reporting to the Dinesh. So that's the reason Dinesh can see Matt and John data. Now let's check for the developer. So this is the developer account. David is developer name. Now let's open the report. And you can see since no one reports to him. So he can only see his own data. Now let's provide the admin level of access rights to the David. Let's see what happened. So go to the main account and from user underscore role just remove the David from here click on save and now open the admin role and here search for David and add to David under admin role click on save now let's check into the David account just refresh the report and as you can see that now David can see all employees data because he has admin level of access rights that's all for this video i hope you gained a good understanding of how to set up dynamic rls with organizational hierarchy data if you like the video please like share comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you